The door to this laboratory is open. Wonder what we can learn about the world of mathematical sciences in here. Hmm. Oh, this red mass has split into two. And now it's subdividing again. It looks like cell division is taking place. This is Dr. Daishin Ueyama. His studies involve the field of simulation-assisted analysis. Are you simulating how cells divide and multiply here? ま、化学物質 Let's call this type of simulation, which looks like cell division, a cellular pattern. These two equations generate cellular patterns. They look much like the equation Ninomiya uses to create animal patterns. They are, in fact, a type of reaction diffusion equation. However, take a closer look, and it can be seen that there is a significant difference beginning from the second term on the right-hand side and beyond. This equation is known as the Gray-Scott model. It represents a chemical reaction process in which a continuously supplied substance, A, reacts with another substance, B, transforms into substance B, and then eventually decomposes. U represents the concentration of substance A, and V, that of substance B. F is the supply rate of substance A, and K represents the decomposition rate of substance B. Inputting various values for F and K, Ueyama has used the Gray-Scott model to simulate the spatial patterns that can be created. The red area is where substance B is concentrated. By changing the values of F and K, patterns like fingerprints or mazes can be formed, as well as cellular patterns. While studying cellular patterns in these simulations, Ueyama became aware of a very intriguing feature. その the inside of the circle is filled with spots, and it's nearing a situation where no more change will occur. When it has virtually ceased to change, and the centers of the spots are connected with lines, the many triangular shapes produce a mesh. Let's measure the areas of these triangles and create a graph. The areas of the triangles are distributed symmetrically with a certain value at the center. The triangles accumulate in more or less the same dimension.
An even more surprising thing is the angle. A majority of the triangles have inner angles of 60 degrees. In other words, they are essentially equilateral triangles, and there are very few triangles with larger or smaller inner angles. The triangles filling the area were nearly all equilateral, having virtually the same dimensions. In fact, filling the surface with a mesh made of triangles having nearly the same dimensions helps when conducting computer simulations of complex phenomena. By distributing a mesh of triangles with uniform area over the surface of an object that has a complex shape, the amount of data can be reduced, thus making the task more efficient. Up until now, there was software that generated triangular meshes automatically. We compared the lengths of the sides and the distribution of inner angles between the method proposed by Ueyama and commonly used software. The method proposed by Ueyama is shown in yellow. It has a more distinctive peak than that created using existing software. This means that Ueyama's method successfully produces a mesh with uniform side lengths and inner angles. Besides circles, good results have been achieved for gourd-shaped areas too. Quick meshes can be formed for natural shapes like human bones. At a single glance, it can be seen that even for areas with complicated shapes, a uniform mesh can be produced. The Gray-Scott model is not intended for making meshes. However, it creates nearly perfect meshes, a most intriguing phenomenon. あの、私はもともと、ま、生物と非生物の間に共通した、ま、普遍的なパターンに興味があって、こういう研究を始めました。ま、物質には生命はないんですけれども、ま、エネルギーや物質が代謝している状況に置くと、先ほど見たようにま